All right, guys, quick update from the garage here. Uh, first thing I want to do, give GPX Small Engines a shout out and a big thank you. Um, a while back, we kind of made a deal, some shifter extensions, and uh, he was going to pay me, but then he said he had this carburetor. So I said, let's just trade carb for shifter extensions. I'm cool with that. So it finally came in the mail uh, last week, and actually when I was in Michigan visiting the Supreme Leader, Chew Man. Uh, so here it is. It's pretty decent. Needs a cleaning. I haven't cracked it open yet. Shaft feels pretty good. Just minimal slop. So big thanks again to him. GPX Small Engines. He's got a couple Sears tractors and some other stuff he works on. So yeah, well, this will go to use, bud. It'll go on something. Um, the one I got on here. You got slop in it. The one off the 69, original 69. On here, she's got some slop in her, so it's gonna go on something. <laughs> and ain't done too much with this yet, just trying to start it. Battery's weak, so I got the charger on it. So get cracking on this. The 69 hydro, haven't done nothing to that. Just sitting there. Looking good. 18.6. I pretty much guaranteed it's going to snow again because I took the plow off it and took the eggs and everything off it. Had to put them on this one. Put them on the 69 SS12. Made it look really good. Um, got this other starter generator in here out of the 72. Got it all painted, put it in there. But And the noise ain't what I'm worried about, it just it won't spin the motor over fast enough, so I'm gonna have to check my grounds or something. I hooked it back up the same way this one came out, but it's I don't know, it's not spinning fast enough, so I am gonna check the grounds and all that junk, but this thing starts so easy with the rope and it just been doing that. Yeah guys, pretty much it from here. Like I said last weekend. Went up and visited Chewy. You guys have seen the videos coming out about that stuff. So, again, a big thanks to him and Hugh and Andy and all the guys up there. All really great guys. Great working with them. Eating with them. Had a lot of fun. I'm going to do it again, hopefully soon. This summer or something. So. Not bad, guys. Rims are getting kind of rough, so I'm going to have to be repainted, but she'll work it for now. Just, uh, I'm going to use it for thatching and stuff this year, kind of like I did with the 72, but we'll do it with this one. All right, it's running good, moving good. Uh, gotta, gotta get going on this thing, get it done, get it out of the way, so I can get that one dug out and start figuring out what I need and get this thing finished. It's been down long enough, so. I uh, got the head gasket. No, not for that one. For this one. This is the one out of the 69. I got a head gasket for that. Just got to put that in, clean it up. It's ready to go. Um, I'm probably going to take this carb. Because I remember when this thing was originally for sale, the guy said he put a brand new carb on it. So this one's nice and tight. Everything works good. So I'll probably take this carb off, put it on there so it runs mint. And then we'll go from there. But. Just again, big thanks to GPX Small Engines. This carb will be used. If not the carb, parts out of it. So this is very nice. So. Uh, Alright guys, that's all I know. Got up close to about 50 today, so figured I'd do some tinkering out here. And tomorrow's Easter, so everybody have a happy Easter and we'll talk to you later.